Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has also released the September patch Tuesday updates for both versions of Windows 11, version 22H2 and also version 21H2. And the update for 22H2 is KB5030219. And if you are still running the original release, the update is KB5030217. Now, first of all, just focusing on some of the key highlights. Microsoft says the update removes a blank menu item um, from the sticky keys menu for version 22H2. Apparently, this was occurring after you install the optional bug fix update that rolled out near the end of August last month, KB5029351. And um, this update did cause a lot of issues uh, last month as I've been posting. And this was just another one. And apparently now that blank menu item um, in the sticky keys menu now has been resolved with 5030219. Now over and above that, um, the update addresses security issues for both versions of Windows 11. And um, for Windows 11, uh, we get 18 vulnerabilities in total that have been addressed this month. That's two more than Windows 10. And we also get one critical and the 17 others are important. And that critical vulnerability for both versions of Windows 11 um, addresses a remote code execution vulnerability, which is common uh, in Windows as a exploit that gets patched every month more or less and remote code execution vulnerabilities um, are when someone can gain access to your system over a network or over um, the internet as an example so 18 vulnerabilities have been patched in total uh, this month for both versions of windows 11 now moving on to the improvements and as always this security update 5030219 includes all the improvements that were part of KB5029351 and all the fixes that rolled out near the end of August, around about the 22nd, 23rd of August, depending on your region. And if you are still running uh, the uh, original release of Windows 11, that would have been update KB5029332. Now, I did post um, on both those updates uh, that did roll out near the end of uh, last month. But just to do a quick recap for the purpose of today's video, because um, there were some important improvements that did roll out. First of all, for Windows 11 22H2, the update adds new functionality that affects app defaults. There's also a new hover behavior to the search box Gleam. Now, I haven't received that yet. This is obviously on a controlled rollout, but um, up until recently, you have to click on your search box for Windows 11 to open up uh, the search flyout menu. Now this new hover box Gleam, as it's called, um, if you just hover your mouse over the search box, it'll open up that flyout menu. And if you do get the feature, if we just head to our taskbar settings, uh, it'll be here, just under the chat. It'll be in, in this location where you'll be able to turn that hover functionality on and off. So um, it still seems to be on a controlled rollout. I still have not got the feature yet in my region. And there's also a new policy called Enable Optional Updates, and it also improves search. So that's another improvement for search and includes numerous bug fixes. So that's the improvements that rolled out for Windows 11 22H2 with last month's update, now um, carried over into this month's update. And for version 21H2, um, they improved how Windows detects your uh, location, so better location detection, and also um, was rolled out with some bug fixes. So... um, Those updates now and improvements carried over into uh, 5030219 and 5030217 for Windows 11. And over and above that, um, for both versions of uh, Windows 11, um, the update also addresses an issue that affects authentication. Now, apparently this was if you were using a smart card to join or rejoin a computer to an Active Directory domain that could and might fail. Now, apparently, if we just head back to Windows Update and our update history, um, this was occurring after you install Windows Updates dated October 2022. So that's almost those updates that were installed um, a year ago. And this has been an issue and it's now finally being addressed with this month, um, the updates for Windows 11. So better late than never. 
and um, that using a smart card to join or rejoin a computer to an Active Directory domain failing has been addressed now finally according to Microsoft um, and the release notes for the updates. Now, um, once the update has been installed and the updates have been installed and they will because um, they are automatic updates, so they will be downloaded and installed automatically. If we head over to Winver about Windows, if you are running Windows 11 version 22H2, the OS build is bumped up to uh, 2261.2283. And if you're still running the original release of Windows 11 version 21H2, that OS build will be 22,000.2416. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.